feeling a little bit fucking tired. Anyways. Well, you just, you know, you just smoked some more fun. Of course it makes you tired. I had a little bit, but I didn't like smoke more. I'm not tired because of that. Yeah, no? No. You can't even tell. Could you tell if I was right now? You can see in your eyes. Huh? No, you can't, Dad. Dad, look at me. You can see it in my eyes right now. Yes, totally. How? Double lid. Double no, lid. Dad. It's doing stone. Okay, do my eyes look at all stone? Your Hold eyes on. look stone. Hold on, take a sec. If my eyes look stone, do you think yours don't? Yeah. They exactly. don't. I know they don't. I know they do. They, you see? Thank you. Yeah. There's no way. I'm going to mm -hmm. look at myself right now. Okay, yeah. look. Take a look. Eyelid. I know, son. Dad. You're wrong. All right guys, so we're in the kitchen, obviously again. Here was Zach, here with my dad, and we are going to be showing you guys how to do what, chef? A, um, you know, this the balsamic garlic uh, olive oil dressing. All right, so take a thing of garlic like this. All right guys, I'm gonna show you how to remove the skin of garlic cloves um, by using this little technique. Shake the shit out of it. You see? Oh wow. Holy you shit. That, there's some good result. Take the one right now. Can you make the start the dressing? We finish the rest of the garlic. What do you need me to do? Sorry? What? I want you to make what do you, the okay. dressing. Yeah, but what, what the garlic, what do you want me to do with it? That's what I mean. Use the garlic for making a garlic dressing. Right, but how do you want me to chop it really fine? The, yeah, but, it? but you have to, yeah, take, put it on the side now. You, we're going to do instruction on making it, right? Yes. Now. First step, just yes. pull it out. Dad, how much garlic do I need? Okay. That much, that All much. Right. You're going to guide me. I don't okay. know what you're thinking. Okay, right okay, now. okay. So, Dad, okay, how much I want garlic? you to be a little quicker now okay. because I'm, I'm thinking yes. I want to cook yes, this. Yes, okay? yes, yes, yes. All chef. right. So, I would say about uh, this much garlic. Can yes. you mince it, dice it? Yes. Uh, make it really nice and. Uh, Feel that. Nice. I like the nice, uh, the knife work, the finger is in the right position. Good. Okay. Now I want you to um, mince it, pile them nicely like hearts. Because when they stack, it means they don't run around, right? Now use the same technique. Wow, I'm very, very impressed. This is the time we spend all this in the kitchen. I'm not disappointed at all. So you know, like sometimes you say, hey, how come the food tastes so good? You know, all this work, it takes time, right? So I know you can get the, uh, you know, minced garlic by the jar, but uh, trust me, it would never taste the same. Okay, but let me ask you this. This is actually a good question. What is the importance of putting care and effort into something, even if you don't necessarily enjoy it? And it's like a young age. Say for example, it's like a job, but it's like maybe not a job that you really like doing as much. What's the importance of still caring and trying? Well, everything has a beginning. When you first start it, if you try uh, a bit harder to do it, the first time, not necessary, you might succeed. The second time, you even tried it even a little bit harder and put a little more time. When you're successful with what the outcome, you know that you can do so many different things with that attitude, with that kind of mindset, with that kind of frame of uh, spirit. And that's how everything, uh, the word is uh, going over the hump. You know, see when you got armor here, when in the beginning, you're not sure, when you go over the hump, oh my God, it's so hard. Oh, I failed, okay, I stopped there. And next thing you know, I try again, I go a little bit, then you're on the top, and then you see over. I say, I know what's happening. Perfect. Vinegar. Two teaspoons. A little black pepper. You guys are stoned, right? Can you figure that out? What? No, that's good. But I'm, no, he's stoned as fuck. <laughs> he's very stoned. I can tell how stoned you are, bro. <laughs> Because you are gonna get involved, you have become the story, right? I then wanna you, learn. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, if you let me do it, if you teach me how, I will, I will learn. Okay, yeah, of course. Now, uh, but of course. Every, okay, but wait. Sometimes you'll be teaching me, yeah. and then I'll be like, okay, what next? And you'll be like, oh, you know, and then you just go do it, so then I don't learn. Okay, but you gotta be like on, right? I'm because on I don't right have now. time. Yes. So do we ne need, need that much pasta you for? You tell me. Uh, well, how many, like one bundle about for one person, right? Okay, so, so, with, so when making pasta, yeah. this is, would you say a uh, portion? No, maybe about this much, a portion, yeah, I would say, yeah. So this much is one person? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Five, yeah. Right? Four, five, a little bit. Six. Six eight, some more sauce. There you go. Yeah. Got the barley soup. Yeah, and then put some pasta over there. Pesto, put about three tablespoons in there. There you go, and stir everything. Yeah, that's yeah. Break it up. 
they break it out the noodles with the sauce, otherwise you're one curd, right? Yeah, yes, yeah, you mix so really good. Great all the sauce in. Pine nuts on the top. Fresh OJ on deck, obviously. Oops. Yeah, toss it a little bit more on this side, especially. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> You're filming right now? So funny. Mm. Yeah. So, anyways, guys, it's, um, it's dinner time. You know, I'm not really trying to like sit and talk about the food. I'm trying to just eat it. So, on to the next thing. Say to me what you just said. That well, I'm, I'm just telling you. Okay, what did we just do? Just tell them what we just did and, and what we just decided well, now. Well, you know, I, I just filmed you this afternoon. I want to show you. I'm a very fucking good uh, film, a filmer. What do you say, what do you call? Videographer. Okay, yeah. But what makes you so, like, how do you know that you are? Well, because I always pretend what I'm watching that I'm there. Okay. That's the most important. It's seeing through my eyes and see how I feel. It has to be in the moment. I feel the Boston area and Queens. I can film that for you, son. Oh, it's very good, son. Is that your B-roll, Chef? Yeah. That's a good B-roll, eh, Chef? Mm-hmm. What are you thinking when you shoot that? Like the beginning of the feeling, right? Of the all this. The beginning of the feeling, of yeah. the motivation. That's right. Of the working, right? That's right. I think the biggest misconception that a lot of people have is like if you want to get in shape you have to train really hard and you have to eat right. There's no secret like you know when you see those videos where it's like six minute abs or get shredded, lose 25 pounds in one month like I mean the only way I can ever see anyone losing 25 pounds in a short span of time and not putting in crazy amounts of work is doing it in an unhealthy way so. Yeah I stop eating and yeah. stop all these kind of normal things. If you want to get in shape, you gotta eat right, you gotta put in the work. It's yeah. really simple. But Your body meant to be worked out. Yes. The body you need is like a motor. You need to be like fuel and you need to be move. Yep. And that's what it should look like, right? And now we do the weights. Woo! Yeah, what up? Meet me, my son, uh, Levi. Hey, hey, how, how you doing? doing? I'm the LA Fish guy. Right. This is really nice that you guys do that. This is the Infinity Blue Bear Mundi. But this is about about two to three, about three pound fish right here. Lovely. If you can see the gills are. Oh wow, fresh, legit. right? Never frozen, always fresh. Uh huh. This was harvested on a Monday, here on a Tuesday. Wow. Please let me know how you guys like it. I, um, I, I, yeah, I, I do know a little bit about this fish because uh, I, I have a restaurant in Singapore. Yes. We, yes. we do use uh, some of this very Monday. And yes. also they do have some farm raising in Singapore too. Correct. Yeah. There's um, a lot of farm raising that's going on. When they're wild, wow. That's a exactly. different, different level. So. We've been just going crazy with the food stuff lately, guys. And I'm really excited to continue this trend with you because you guys have been loving it. And honestly, it's not even like we've been forcing this. It's like my dad has just been in the kitchen every day cooking all kinds of crazy food. And today we got another special treat for you guys because Chef Maylin is pulling up again, only this time it's for lunch. So the two big barramundi fish that they dropped off, the plan is that we're actually gonna cook both of them and we're gonna have a big feast today. So yeah. I just had to come out here for a second guys because we're a little bit late today. We started late. We did like this really long hike and did a full workout, my dad and I in the backyard. And then we went and got a bunch of groceries. So 
everyone's gonna be here in like pretty much an hour, hour and a half, but we haven't even started, so we really gotta rush. It's crunch time right now. And my dad is fucking stressed, and he's just, I can tell he's starting to get in one of those moods, so the best thing to do is be helpful, but don't be in his way, because if you're in his way, he gets fucking pissed. All right. Crunch time, chef. Let's get working. Iron chef style. One hour only, right, chef? Sometimes we gotta, we gotta, we gotta move a little quicker than normal, chef. So we got Zach in the kitchen now, helping us out. I was just telling Zach he just woke up. It is one o'clock today. He just got out of bed. It's called the Iron Chef uh, competition style today. Okay, let's not fuck around the words. Don't even beep it. Just say. Also. I'm 30 and I can wake up whenever time I want and leave the bed whatever time I want. Okay. So. Yeah, 100%. Let's go. Let's go. But I'm saying we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to convince you to implement better uh, healthy uh, life choices in terms of habits. In terms of like when you go to bed and when you wake up. In terms of like what you do, you know? Dad, you might make me feel that. It's gonna be hard for me, I'm not even gonna lie, it's gonna be hard for me to film right now because I'm required to do a lot of work in the kitchen. Uh, but I'm gonna do my best. Alright, let's get fucking going. Zach. Uh, this <laughs> my dad just finished yelling at me and like, I don't know, I just don't know if I can do this anymore. Like, <laughs> Sunflower seeds, a little bit of soy sauce going in, tell me when to stop. Stop. It was cooked for how long, chef? Uh, maybe 15 minutes. Right, we're approaching 45 minutes and he's still on the parsley, guys. Oh, so, that That's much, it, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. We'll go one, well, I would say, a little bit more. That that's more than I put in because it's sensitive. A lot of chipotle in there already. Yeah. Okay. A little bit more. No, more. No. A little bit more. Just a little bit more. That's it. You can toss it around. All right, guys. We're approaching close to the hour mark. As you can see, we got Zach still on the parsley. One. Yeah. Another one. I've never seen you do that technique before. Yeah. Oh yeah, I did it before. I think you haven't tried that one. Oh, probably. Probably. And if you guys go back like two or three videos before this, I do making potato salad or FaceTime with my dad. So if you want to know how to make this, potato salad dressing and everything, just go check out that video. Yeah, chop potatoes, it put it in, right? I'm gonna chop these potatoes out. They've been peeled and broiled, and I'm gonna go ahead and chop them up and just throw them right in there. As you can see, the potato salad is just getting mixed up. Chef May in the house just pulled up. Everybody's here. The kitchen is full of energy right now, guys. A lot of things in the work. We haven't even got to the barramundi, aka the fish. But guys, I'm excited. Just good vibes. You're gonna make a fucking deal, man. Everybody is in the kitchen right now. Chef May doing the apples. The polenta squash just came out of the oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay that out. Francis coming through, obviously, with that good, good. It's a little bit of Prosecco, you know? Gee! Gee! So Chef May texted me saying, 15 minutes before she gets here, I gotta turn the oven to 450, and this is why. We have some uh, cheddar truffle biscuits. Wow. Wow. Oh my layers. God, that looks insane. Wow, that smells insane. This is for chef. This is for the dressing for the fish. Mm. Chef May is sauteing some apples for Chef Lee right now. My dad is gonna clean the fish now. So talk to us about the process while you're doing it. Well, you know, uh, you see this uh, scale. It's a very thick scale for grilling the fish. So you see what I'm doing using the back of the knife? I gotta hack it, right? You can see what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. How messy it could be. So always start from the, the top so you can do, because the scale is stacked like a card, right? Look at how fresh it is. How can you tell how fresh a fish is? Well, you know the body, you have to feel nice and solid. Look at the eye, look at the gill, smell it. And also, you know, see, look at the fins, see if they're healthy. You know, sometimes there are spots, it could be the sick, you know, the, 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 the fish could be sick, you know? We're gonna put it on the grill for the fish downstairs, please. Well, just because we don't have a fish scaler, so we have to do whatever you like back, back home. When I was a kid, my, that's what my mom does, you know? And she would cook in the balcony when you do like slaughtering the chicken and also like cutting fish. You know, that's what she does. 
and always uh, after she slaughtered the chicken, after she make it. So she would actually kill the chicken herself? Absolutely. How would she kill it? She would bend the neck of the chicken, slit it, and let it drain the blood, and then she would save the blood for, for pudding. And after that, she would make the Cantonese-style chicken, which is poached chicken. Apparently, Chef May is outside right now, starting on the chicken. Don't want to miss that, so that's the one on the grill. You already know Nate had to come do it the loud, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Yo, uh, how would you describe the overall like energy today in the kitchen, like getting out of bed yeah. and then like you know shit being intense or whatever, you know? Yeah. With when the oh, music wait, kicked in. Up, oh, just like just as late as you were. But after we got off, you got off. Oh no, I fell asleep. I was like falling asleep while we were. Oh, see, I was still awake. I would say on average, you probably wake up around 12 every day. That's a lie. On average, I'll wake up at 10, but when I sleep, I go to sleep past three o'clock. Okay, so can you talk about the energy in the kitchen this oh, yeah, morning? Yeah, you when getting to work? I put the music on though, it was like so intense. Literally, we were all like working together, like to the music, which is proper. How would you say it's been like, you know, obviously you've been working in the kitchen with my dad and like a lot of people who want to learn food would like yeah. want that opportunity. Yeah, not only working in the kitchen, but being able to experience the meals after like you like build the dish with him and then you get to experience it is probably one of the craziest experiences I'll ever be able to have. It's actually really proper. Like as an outsider, every meal eating a fucking Iron Chef cr crafted different dish every single time for three meals a day, it's been like the craziest experience. I feel like, like you grew up, so it's like you're desensitized to it, but like I'm fully just like a civilian getting to enjoy like, yeah, you know? Proper, proper. Very proper. Can you run and get some uh, olive oil sure. for me? Specs. Uh, <laughs> okay. Over or no? I know uh, we do it on the top. Don't move around after you put it. Okay. Didn't put it on right, right, Dad? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is. I want to take a picture of them things. Yes. Yes. Nice. Shave yeah, fresh yeah. truffle. Yeah. Look at this. Oh my God. So these are cheddar jalapeno biscuits. No jalapeno, just cheddar. Cheddar black pepper. Shout out Eric Marcinizen for getting us this bottle. Yo, show them your Eric piece. I was telling them about it in my in my last vlog. Look at this. So, when I met Francis outside, we were smoking. We started talking about tattoos. We both have obviously worked on by Eric, but look, this is a piece. These are the two pieces I was talking about. Insane. Peep the baby Birkin. Peeps the baby Birkin. A barbecue chicken, tabbouleh salad. Sweet potato with dill braised onion. Potato mustard salad. You made that. Chef May's homemade biscuits. Oh yeah. With truffle. Polenta yeah, dusted yeah. squash with sauteed apples. And then we're just finishing off the fish and the barbecue. Mm. Success. Mediterranean style, right? Yes. So juicy, uh, this fish. Maybe someone didn't want What is this sauce? This one is uh, sun-dried tomato, has a little bit of balsamic, just a little bit of soil, like a mignonette. Thank mm -hmm. you. First bite of the biscuit. Not that much pasta. Oh my god. It's actually insane. The quality of the chicken is very good. It's called, what is the name? Chidori. Chidori. Can we uh, toast with everybody, guys? Cheers, everybody. Thank it's so you. nice, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, everybody. This Cheers. is the best way to escape uh, coronavirus yeah. in, uh, in a setting in restaurant life. <laughs>